So far, the day had been busy. Warby found out that it isn't smart to stick your nose in the jam jar. Katie found out that there's a lot more to tying your shoes than making knots. And they both discovered that if you leave your boots outside in the rain, they fill up with water. Things had calmed down by this time. Warby was sorting through his odd sock collection, and Katie was drawing on a piece of paper. Mom was in the kitchen making soup. Orby ran in every three minutes to see if it was ready yet. Mom told him that a good soup takes a long time. When Katie asked why she was making so much, Mom told her that Mrs. Perrette, who lived down the street, was very sick with pneumonia and had been in bed for a week. Mom was making some of the soup for her. Chicken soup often makes you feel better. Kate wanted to know why it made you feel better, and Mom explained that there were a lot of good things in chicken soup. Chicken, carrots, broccoli, onions, potatoes, leeks, lettuce, just about anything else in the fridge. Orby opened the fridge and found a bottle of orange juice. He wanted to put that in the soup, too. Yuck, said Katie. Orange juice doesn't go with chicken soup. It was right then that Katie had an idea. Why didn't she make Mrs. Perrette a cheer-me-up present? Mom thought it was a good idea. Orby didn't know what a cheer-me-up present looked like. Mom told him that it could look like anything. Orby set right to work with his odd sock collection. He would make something special. Katie thought carefully. Finally, she decided to paint a bright, sunny picture so that Mrs. Perrette could put it on her wall and look at it while she was in bed. It would make her feel happy. Katie set up her easel outside. She would paint a picture of her backyard. That way, Mrs. Perrette could imagine she was right outside. She put out all her paints and chose the brightest, happiest colors. She worked very hard on her picture. She painted the bushes and the flowers and the tree. She painted the grass and the houses. She even put in three little birds sitting on a branch. When she was all done, she left it to dry. Orby came out to show her what he'd made. He'd taken an old pink sock and painted red polka dots on it. He drew a little Orby face on it, and it looked like an Orby puppet. Katie loved it and gave him a great big hug. She was sure it would cheer Mrs. Perrette up. Mom poured some of the chicken soup into a smaller container. It was time to go to Mrs. Perrette's house. Katie raced out to the backyard and carefully removed her painting from the easel. Her painting was beautiful and was full of happy colors. Katie wondered if Mrs. Perrette had ever seen such a beautiful picture. They walked down the street to Mrs. Perrette's house. Mom knocked on the door and walked in. Katie thought that Mom should have waited, but Mom reminded her that Mrs. Perrette was sick in bed. They went in very quietly. Mom called Helene. Her bedroom was full of flowers. Mrs. Perrette looked very sick and had a bad cough. Katie and Orby sat together in a chair and waited till it was time to give their presents. A smile crossed Mrs. Perrette's face when she saw Katie and Orby. The chicken soup smelled good, and so she asked Mom to heat some up for her. Of course, Mom was thrilled. She wanted Mrs. Perrette to eat the chicken soup and get better. Mrs. Perrette asked Orby what he had in his hand. And Orby moved over to the bed and showed her his cheer-me-up present. It was a wonderful sock puppet. Mrs. Perrette giggled with delight, and Katie was sure that it was good for her to laugh. The puppet looked perfect sitting on the bed beside Mrs. Perrette, and Orby was happy that it would keep her from feeling lonely. Katie moved forward to show her picture. She held it up. Mrs. Perrette didn't say anything for a minute. She seemed to look at every brush stroke, and then she said, Oh, my Katie, this is a lovely painting. And I know paintings because I painted that one over there. Katie looked at the wall and saw a beautiful painting of a flower garden. The bushes and flowers all looked exactly like they were real. Katie looked at hers. Suddenly, nothing looked real at all. A big gulp rose in Katie's throat, and she had to swallow hard. Her painting just wasn't any good at all. 
Mrs. Perrette told Katie that it was very good. But Katie took one look at the picture on the wall and she knew she was just being polite. Orby told Katie it was very nice too, but he had to say something nice. He was her friend. Katie felt hot inside and her cheeks turned bright red. She wanted to run home. She wanted to rip up her dumb painting. Why hadn't she made Mrs. Peretta a paper hat or something? Just as Katie was starting to feel a little tear in her eye, Mom came into the room with a bowl of soup and a tray. Mrs. Perrette smiled at her and said, Thank you, Susan. That looks delicious. Mom put the tray on her lap. Then she continued, Did you see the wonderful things that Katie and Orby brought? Mrs. Perrette turned to the puppet. I'm going to keep this right here. It will keep me company while I'm sick. Orby grew so proud that his little red spots got brighter and brighter. Katie just looked at the ground. Mrs. Perrette picked up Katie's painting. Katie said, you can just throw that out. Mrs. Perrette looked at her in shock. Throw it out, she said. I wouldn't dream of it. She turned to Katie and held the picture up. This is very special to me. Katie looked at the beautiful painting on the wall and said, but it's not even nearly nearly as good as that one. Mrs. Perrette finally understood. Katie, she said, do you think I started off painting like that? Nobody starts off perfect. People have to keep practicing until they get there. I painted hundreds of paintings, and I still have lots to learn. But the thing that makes this so special to me is that when I was your age, I painted a painting that looks almost exactly like this. I don't have to tell you that Katie felt very proud. And so did Mom and Orby. Mom taped the painting up on the wall and Mrs. Perrette said that now she was sure to get better quickly. I bet you can imagine that Katie hurried back home and painted 10 more paintings. She would have painted 11. But it was time for chicken soup. <laughs>